I was like, girl. Friday, December 1st. I'm about to upload my first video on time. I didn't get a chance to do any like crazy edits or additions. It's just like basic, basic. I thought that the camera would be better than what it is. And so I'm kind of struggling with that. I kind of want to just buy the $400 camera, but then I'm just like, that would not be wise so I don't know I'm, I'm trying to adjust the settings and play around with it to see if I can just get it to just get me by um, today is candle day if you are a candle girly or guy um, Bath and Body Works I always get that and Bed Bath & Beyond confused Bath & Body Works has candle day um, the bed, the Bath and Body Works by me opened at 5 a.m. It's 5.52 right now, a.m. And I'm just going to stop by on my way to work and pick up maybe like six candles. I won't go crazy. I have a gift card that um, I got for my birthday that I've just been holding on to for candle day because I don't know. But they don't have the scent that I like, so I won't. Uh, they don't sell it anymore, so I don't even know what I'm going to get. But I'll probably get, I need to check my stash, and then I will probably get like six and then move along. I actually don't know why I don't even have a coupon. I kind of don't even want to go without a coupon, so I'm going to go check the mailbox before I head out and see if I have a coupon in there that I just missed. And hopefully I do. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to do today. I did not prep my hair. I get my hair done tomorrow and I have not prepped my extensions. I have not washed my hair. Um, yeah, so we got some stuff to do. I still haven't gotten a Christmas tree out of the attic, so we still have that to do. Um, lots of things coming up. Uh, we went to dinner with one of my childhood friends last night, which is kind of how um, I didn't do what I needed to do, but I'm always happy to be able to do that and I'll push everything just so that I can stay connected to one of my longest friends that I've had my entire life. So, um, yeah, I'm about to make this video live, I guess, and then... I'll go check my candle stash to see what scents I need to get and then we'll get going. Okay, so this is where I keep my candle stash. I don't have that many anymore. Oh wow, I'm moving all around. So I don't have that many anymore for all the lids. But I'm trying to see like Champagne Toast is one that I always have. So, Mahogany Teakwood High Intensity. I probably should get... Eh, this Mahogany Coconut smells so good. This one, so good. So, I'll probably pick up a couple of these if they have them. This... Oh, wow, what is that? This is my favorite scent that they no longer sell so i've been kind of slowly burning them um and i think i have five of those left so but they don't sell anymore cinnamon spice vanilla also another one of my favorite ones it actually doesn't smell that much this is also like my holiday scent but <laughs> i like it so much that i kind of burn it all year round Marshmallow fi Fireside, that's a has uh, holiday scent. And then, yeah, Marshmallow Fireside. So, I'm really funny about even numbers. So, I like to have two of each. If I burn something, 
I want to have like two of them to burn, which is why I need to get another cinnamon spice vanilla. Although I'm pretty sure I have a bunch of small ones packed in my Christmas stuff or my holiday stuff. So, but yeah, this mahogany coconut, I know for sure I'm probably going to get a good amount of those. Well, not a good amount. I'll at least get one or two more of those. And then I like, I also really like the candy cane. I love all things peppermint. Very weird, I know, but I will get the candy cane one. I'm pretty sure I have that also packed in my Christmas stuff, but I'm just going to pick up one just in case. So the plan is to only get six and I'll just play around and see what's up when I get in the store. Hopefully... If the early crowd has gone already, they, they're already out because the store opened at 5. I used to be the one to be there and stand in the line, but last year wasn't that deep. <laughs> so I'm just going to get going in just a minute. So now we have a bit of daylight because it's not sunlight. <laughs> the sun is not out today. I am finally on my way to work. I stopped by Bath and Body Works for candle day, but the scent that I prefer was eucalyptus tea, and they no longer sell it, so, which is typical for anything that I like. Like, anytime I am just, like, so in love with something, you can, you can bet that they're going to stop selling it can absolutely bet that they're gonna stop selling it. I think I got a total of total of eight. I thought I was gonna get just six, but it's it never works out that way. I always get more than what I say I'm gonna get. But I had a um I had a gift card from from my birthday and the whole time you know how people give you a gift card and they don't write on the back how much it's for and it has like the range for what the gift card could be so it said $25 to $500 so I don't know I just kind of assumed that there was $25 on there I checked it it was 50 I was like girl which is kind of how I ended up just going ahead and getting the additional two I mean it ain't even that deep did I get yeah, that's how I ended up getting the additional two because it was just like, all right, well, I ain't have to like spend any money. Essentially, you know, girl math. <laughs> like, essentially, I got five candles free. Like, girl math, right? So, did that. I did not have any coupons, which is very crazy because I usually get them in the mail, like clockwork. And the last one that I got expired um on the 26th i think november 26th so whatever bath and body works trifling for that and then they had a coupon yesterday that came out and it was ten dollars off 30 and it did not have an expiration date on there in the email but then when you try to use it today they're like oh no this one expired at 5 59 a.m and I'm like, had I known that, because the store by me opened at 5 a.m., like, had I known that that coupon was going to expire at 5.59 a.m., you better know I would have been first in line, and I would have been checking out by 5.50. I'm just drinking my, what do you see, kombucha. I get the, these from Costco kombucha ginger lemonade i drink these uh monday wednesday friday i'm a very routine person like what else is to come a lot so still got to do the christmas tree still have to prep my hair my my hair on my head and my extensions i got my bench or whatever you call that at uh i've been calling it a backless couch because it's longer than a bench but I got that home yesterday, so I'm looking forward to kind of styling that, and then maybe, maybe we can do like an office, a home office makeover type deal, and that can be a, a video 
where I just kind of go over the stuff that's in my office and maybe do like a tour. Um, we have to stain the dining room table that I built. <laughs> I don't have any footage of me building that table because to be honest, I did not know what I was doing. And it was so chaotic. <laughs> it was so chaotic. Like, I don't know. It was very chaotic. I think I tried to get some clips, like, when I was getting, like, wood cut and all those things. Because I don't have a saw. I don't have any, like, all I had was a drill and a pocket hole jig. Like, <laughs> I literally had to just, I went back and forth to Home Depot and Lowe's so many times to get things for that table. And for the life of me, and that's another area that I need to like do like a makeover in because I have bookshelves in there that need to be changed out. And... I need to stain the table. I have chairs, but I don't love those chairs. I just needed chairs for the table. The reason that I ended up building a table is because the space is not large and I just didn't want a small table, but I didn't want like a huge table and the dimensions of the tables that I saw, I didn't really care for and also the finish I didn't really care for and so I was just like and so I was just like I can build a table and I built it I built that table in like 48 hours I mapped out a plan I got my you know how if you get directions to put together an item you they have like this is piece A, piece B, like all that. That's how I labeled it. That's how I labeled it, literally. And yeah, I made it happen. It's a pretty sturdy table. But I do think because I did the dimensions, I didn't account for like doorway width and all that. So when I get a new house, I will not be able to take that table with me because it won't be able to fit. It can't fit out of the door, I don't think. Probably should have taken that into account, but again, I'm not a builder. Alright, I am back home from work, all the things. My very first video has gone live, and I will admit the quality of video and the quality of sound is trash like trash i cannot i am not <laughs> at all motivated to continue using this camera to do my footage but i'm back and i have i have two things <laughs> that i brought home from this morning I have candles and Christmas came early. My lovely mother purchased me a camera. So that is a lesson. You get what you pay for. If you want to produce high quality content, I would suggest my my old iPhone's quality is better than the video that I posted from this camera. And I had a 10s Max, but Christmas came early. Again, have this. So I'm going to open it, um, charge it. I think I need to go get an SD card for it and all that jazz, but I'm going to fully charge it first and then I will move on from there. So, peace.